Hi, welcome back. Um, now we're going to add um, two more elements to the page, and these are two of the most powerful elements, and two elements that learning designers really like um, in in laying out a page, and partly because it helps to organize content in slightly different ways, but it means that you can also have little bits of content that appear and disappear um, without overwhelming the user and they can access them on their own terms. And those two types of interaction are using tabs and using um, accordions or collapsible panels. I'm going to start by looking at tabs. So just have a look at what we're going to, the sort of thing we're going to, to be building. If we go back to the Get Bootstrap page and we have a look at um, the tab section on the, in the JavaScript area. And again, we're going to do this with just one line of, of code. This is the easy way. Tabs are, again, very powerful, uh, but we're going to keep it as simple as we can. So uh, let's look at, uh, here's an example. So we have uh, some content in, in the home tab. We have a second tab, which when the user clicks on that content is displayed. And then in this case, we have a drop down tab. We're not actually going to look at a drop down tab in our, what we do, but um, um, you can work through this uh, a bit more if you want to look at that. Um, in terms of the structure of the tab, uh, basically it consists of um, two sections. Um, there's a navigation section, which is what uh, appears at the top um, in terms of each little segment that you click on. And then there's the content tab. Um, so the top is a list item, and the second is a series of divs. And the important thing is that the, there is an anchor in each link item, and that the, the reference matches the ID of one of the um, divs um, that you'll have some content in. Now, that will make more sense when we have a look at the example. So let's go into our page, and if you remember right back at the start, we had a, a mock-up, and we were going to put our tab on the right above this image. We've already put that image in, we put that in the, in the last section, so we'll put this tab above it. So we'll go to our text, let's move up. So that was in the um, Second row, and here's the image that we put in before, so our tab is going to go in above that in this section here. So, let me just. What we need to do is to um, bring up, um, or, or to start by, Adding the navigation tabs in the top. Now again, you can you can copy and paste this. I'm just going to um, to write it out uh, for the moment, just so that we understand what's happening. But ideally, what you do is have, uh, or what we used to do is to have, um, or what we often do is have this as a standard snippet of code that can be dragged into the page. So we're going to have um, a list, and we'll give it an ID of tabs and we need to say that this is a, a navigation element so it has a class of nav and it's particularly of the class nav tabs so what we're saying is that this list is going to be displayed by bootstrap in the format of a, a set of tabs and I'll just turn that off. So, what we then need is the actual tabs themselves. So, we'll just start off with a list item. And because this is the first list item, what we're going to do is say, we're going to give it a class of um, active. So this is the active tab that gets displayed when the page is first loaded. So I need an equal sign there. And it's going to be the 
first item in our page, which will be Mercury as the nearest planet to the Sun. And we'll close that list item. And our second list item will be um, doesn't need to have a class because it's not um, active, uh, but it's going to be uh, Venus, which is the second planet. We'll close that. And our third item is going to be Earth. And our fourth item is going to be Mars. Now, what we haven't done is to add, is to make each of these into a link, which will then open up a particular um, pane of content. So we need to add a link around these. So we'll add a, an anchor, and we'll give it a class of. I don't know, we don't need to give it a class. I'm sorry, because the class is applied to the list item. We will give it a um, a, a link of. That should be an anchor. A link of um, something with the identity Mercury. Now, if you've got more than one identity on this page, then you need to, um, well, you can't have something with more than one identity, but you might call this Mercury tab. But let's do that, just to be clear, Mercury tab. Um, and we need to give it a data um, toggle attribute. Remember the data toggle attribute? And this time we're saying it's a tab and we need to close that link down okay so our second and third and fourth are going to be very similar so we'll do hey href equals something with uh, on the page that has an identity of venus with the venus tab again um, with a data dash toggle attribute of tab we'll close that down and I think I might just copy these because I'm typing a bit slow today so we'll just copy that control V control V Close those. Now we need to say this one is going to be Earth tab, and this last one is going to be Mars tab. So basically, we've got a, a, a list of headings, and they're going to be displayed in the right format because of our classes that we've applied. And then when we click on each of those, it's going to go to a panel or, or a div. Um, with with the appropriate name and be displayed. So that looks something like this. So we need a con uh, we, we need an overall container to hold all of these things. And we'll create a div. We'll give it an ID of. In this case, we'll just call it my tab content. Quotes and give it a class of so this is saying to Bootstrap let's display everything in here in the format of uh, a series of tab panes and we need to have then the panes themselves that are going to be displayed. So we have a, da a div, and we have a class for that div, <coughs> div I should say, of tab dash pane. Um, so that's the first one. 
And we're going to need four of these because there are four planets. Now, this first one we want it to be shown first up when the page is displayed. So we'll add a second class in there that says active. Now, we then need to have an ID for each of these, which is the ID that's going to be identified by these hrefs. So we'll say uh, ID equals Mercury tab. ID equals Helus tab. ID equals Earth tab and ID equals Mars tab. Okay, so those are it. So we've got now got four tabs and we've got four or four tab panes, I should say, and four tabs at the top that we can click on, and those will open those different things. Now we need to add a bit of content into there because we've got no content in each of the panes. So I've got some content already made up, which I've taken from the Wikipedia page. So I'll just grab that and pull it over rather than type, type it all in. So there's the tab I've got, the content I've got for the Mercury tab. And for the Venus tab and for the Earth tab, and finally for the Mars tab. And I'll just just tidy up a bit. Just remove those blank lines. So each little item of content has got a mercury, that's got a, a H3, a heading, and then a paragraph of text. And you could put images in there, you could put anything you like in there. Um, you could put videos in there, which is something that we've often done in the past. So let's save that. Um, ah, but what we haven't done is initiate this as a tab item. So what we need to do, again, down in our bottom of um, page is to the page is to go to uh, dollar, and in this case, what we're going to do is to find the item in the page called tabs, and to um, give that a behaviour of tab. Just make sure I've got that ID correct. So we're identifying a specific ID in this case. And there it is, ID tabs. ID tabs. File. Save. Okay, so let's have a look at what this looks like. If we reload that now. Okay, good. We've got um, an active tab, the active content. We click on Venus, and that opens up um, some content about Venus. Click on Earth, that opens up some content about Earth, um, and the same for Mars. Good, that works fine. Hmm, I seem to have a little problem clicking on Mercury. So, what's gone wrong with the Mercury? So, let's just go back to the page. So, um, Aha, and this is what's gone wrong, this is a spelling mistake. So the ID here is Mercury tab, and I had it Mercury tab, so let's save that. And we'll reload. So now when I click on Earth, click back on Mercury, it goes to Mercury. Good, so that's all working. So tabs are often are very popular with learning designers. One of the, one of the downsides though, um, is that they can, they can be so popular that they're extremely widely used and they're probably overused in some cases. Um, so you have to be careful when using tabs and I tend to say use um, small amounts of related content 
um, in this case it happens to be planets but it could be anything else where it's not necessarily critical that that information is up there straight away the user can click on the, the link to find that information as appropriate okay in our last um, or penultimate um, video the next video I'm going to show how to uh, add um, a, a an accordion um, also um, known as uh, collapsible panels which is another way of showing and hiding content um, in the page <laughs>